Do endless numbers and presentations make your audience completely zone out? You're not alone. If you've been struggling to make your data engaging and memorable, I've got your solution. Today, we're diving into how to transform boring stats into powerful visuals using infographics and animations. I'm Yvonne, and I'll help you design better for your business. So let's get started. To start off, why should you even consider using infographics? Infographics are powerful visual tools that combine imagery, charts, and minimal text to present information clearly and, of course, quickly. They can simplify complex topics, making them easier for your audience to understand. Infographics can also boost the engagement and the retention of your audience. Infographics can boost engagement by up to 94% because visuals are processed way faster in text. People are actually more likely to share, save, and remember visually appealing content. According to studies by educator Edgar Dale, people remember 65% of the information paired with relevant images compared to just the 10% with plain text. Whether you're a consultant, marketer, or just someone with a story to tell, infographics can be your best friend. They can break down data, illustrate processes, and convey emotions in ways that text alone just simply can't do. Animation breathes life into your design. It grabs attention, enhances engagement, and makes complex information more digestible. But why should you use animations in your presentations? Well, animated elements capture attention in a way that static graphics just can't. They add a layer of dynamism that encourages viewers to stop scrolling and take notice. Moving visuals help people remember information better. For instance, an animated graphic showing growth can stick in someone's mind far longer than a simple chart. But before we begin with creating those infographics, it's important to know the goal you're trying to communicate to your audience. What exactly do you want to achieve? Is it to inform, educate, persuade, or entertain? Clearly outlining your goal will shape your entire infographic. Determine the main point that you want to convey. Keep it focused to avoid losing your audience's attention. Look at your content critically. What in your content can be visualized? Infographics thrive on visual storytelling, so think about how to represent your data and messages visually. Infographics are visual representations of data that tell a story. They are inherently more engaging and memorable than plain text, so be clear about your goal and the key message itself. Once you've defined your purpose, it's time to create an outline. Organizing your information logically helps visualize your final product. This ensures a balance between text and visuals. Think of it as a roadmap of your infographic. Focus on the most important information. Eliminate irrelevant details that could confuse or distract your audience. But before you hit publish, consider the legal aspects of using images and data. You should always secure permission to use copyrighted images or data. Using someone else's work without consent can lead to pretty serious legal issues. We actually have an entire video about how to use copyright photos, which will be linked above and in the description. You also want to properly credit your sources, whether it's a statistic or an image, always provide attribution. Familiarize yourself with copyright laws. For most purposes of education, they can fall under fair use, but this isn't always the case. So understanding these can save you from a lot of potential legal troubles down the road. But defining the goal of the infographic is just the beginning. You also need to consider what makes an appealing design so that the infographic can stand out and become truly memorable. Now, these are some quick tips that you can use when it comes to constructing your infographic to be presentation ready. Have a sense of visual balance. Use no more than two or three fonts and colors. Maintain consistent spacing around elements and within the design, and utilize white space effectively for a clean, uncluttered look. Now, you're gonna to want to understand visual hierarchy. Prioritize elements based on importance. Use larger font sizes or titles and headers. These guide the viewer's eyes through the infographic naturally. And choose colors wisely. Select colors that match your brand or evoke the desired emotions. Let me your color palette to just two or three complementary colors. And please, oh, please use high quality images. Always opt for high resolution images for a professional and clean look. You'll want to avoid images without proper permission, so instead choose royalty-free images or create your own graphics. When you design InvisMe, you don't have to worry about any of that because we have millions of licensed high-resolution images and videos. Nothing is worse than going through a presentation and seeing a grainy low-resolution JPEG. It kills the immersion of the presentation. Ultimately, infographics are meant to visualize data in interesting and unique ways. Data visualization is key when presenting information clearly. So here are some tips on how you can do it effectively. Utilize charts, graphs, and other visualization techniques to present data in an appealing way. 
Avoid overwhelming your audience with too much data all at once. We want the audience to focus on you as the presenter and have the data easy to understand. So that you can keep your data easy to understand, make sure your data is visually appealing. Label your charts and graphs clearly to enhance your comprehension. Maintain consistency in icon styles all throughout your infographic. Choose styles that complement your overall design, whether it's flat, line, or solid icons. If they look radically different from each other, this can hurt the immersion aspect that we mentioned earlier. Make sure your infographic is responsive, ensuring optimal viewing on different devices. So when someone is viewing your presentation, they can still see the complete information and look appealing, not a jumbled mess because it didn't adapt to the smartphone that your user is using. This is crucial for accessibility and user experience so they actually take in the information. And to make your infographics even more engaging, you can use multiple styles of animations. You can use illustrations, characters, and you can even use animated characters that actually make gestures to make the infographic even more interactive. Even think about using special effects like fireworks or little particle effects to add some flair to your presentation. Have charts and graphs animate in and out of your presentation or even build into each other so that information can be easily processed as you continue your presentation or if your audience is following along, they can click and pop up whatever the pace they want to use and digest the information at their own leisure. Which takes us to one of the key aspects of design that we will likely remind you of in every single video. Keep it simple. Simplicity is key when it comes to effective infographics. You really want to avoid bombarding your audience with too much information. Focus on the essentials. You don't need 12 graphics on the screen just to show people how much effort you put into it. Break complex data into smaller digestible chunks. Use clear and concise language to communicate your message. But you're probably thinking, design is hard. There has to be an easier way. What should I do? Well, don't worry, we have you covered on that as well. Utilizing infographic creation tools like Visme can not only simplify your design, but also the design process as a whole. Visme provides access to pre-designed templates and customizable elements, allowing you to get started quickly. Take advantage of features like animation and interactivity to enhance your infographics appeal. Every aspect of animation that we mentioned earlier is actually available inside of Visme and will speed up your workflow like nothing you've ever used before. But before you're sharing infographic, you should optimize it for whichever platform that you're gonna be posting to. Like if it's widescreen for a presentation or square for social media, or even vertical to take up an entire phone screen as an animated video. And don't forget to experiment and have fun with your infographic design. Feel free to play around with the animation options and discover what works best for your message and for your audience. Visme offers a user-friendly platform that was created to help people like you create for your business and for you to explore your creativity. Do not be afraid to try something new. You can try it today at the link down below. I'm Yvonne from Visme, helping you design better for your business.